all four of us agreed we got to resolve this rail shutdown as quickly as possible and that we would work together on doing it. The Speaker will talk about what the House is going to do. Um, and Leader McConnell and I said we have to resolve it in the Senate. It's not everything I would like to see. I think that we should have paid sick leave. Uh, every country, every developed country in the world has it. We don't. But nonetheless, we, we have an improved situation. Uh, and again, I don't like going against the ability of, of uh, unions to strike. But weighing the equities, we must avoid a strike. It, uh, jobs will be lost, even union jobs will be lost, water will not be safe, product will not be going to market. It is, uh, we could lose 750,000 jobs, some of them union jobs, that must be avoided. So tomorrow morning in the House, we will bring up the legislation, send it over to the Senate. And Leader McConnell and I agreed we try to get it done ASAP. Nobody wants the economy to fail. Nobody wants this to happen. But this is another situation where an administration told us one thing, just like they told us about inflation, was transitory. We found that it was not. This was in a negotiation that was selected by this administration. This was something that was celebrated by this administration that it was fixed. And now right before a holiday season, right when farmers need to ship their goods and others, we have to rush something to the floor. And if you're passing a bill to force the rail workers to work, how strong is your economy? If you have gas prices that you can't simply depend upon that it continues to rise, you're going into winter and you're wondering can you afford your winter heating. That's not an economy that's strong.